Hi, it's John of JW Familiary and welcome back to my channel. And this might be one of the last videos you see this buffon of hair that is sat atop my head. Because we're just about to come, well, we've just come out of lockdown. I have a haircut booked for next week. <sighs> yeah. Before you go any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It does help me out. Thank you very much to everybody that has subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I put videos out in the future. It will be in one of the first to watch the videos. And also my socials are on the screen right now. Make sure you follow me on those as well. So you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be making a hat from scratch, which would be kind of fit for a queen. Now I had this video idea for a while and it's just never really come to fruition. And then I saw the Lincoln International Millinery Competition. Their theme was a hat fit for a queen. So I thought, I'm not entering, so, but I thought I'd do a video and then maybe promote the competition as well. All the details listed for the competition is in the description box below. Um, I'm not sponsored, not affiliated, I'm not entering, but I just wanted to bring your awareness to this competition. So for this hat, I wanted a fabric covered hat. I have this beautiful um, navy wool fabric that I've been wanting to use for a while. So this is gonna be the perfect, perfect hat for this. So if you wanna see what I would have entered into the Lincoln International Millinery Competition, keep on watching. Okay, so start off, we're going to block the brim. So I have this navy cinema and so I'm just going to block it on top of this brim block, which I have covered with some cling foam. So I haven't blocked properly on this channel in a hot minute. So here's a lovely little time lapse of me of me blocking, uh, what I'm actually, what well, I'm not blocking it fully, um, because obviously, like we mentioned, we're going to be doing a short brim, but I'm gonna use the, the full brim to enable me to do that. So, here is some beautiful blocking shots. Right, so the crown. So we have buckram, we have wire, we have more buckram. Um, I'm using a technique which is new to me. This is a technique from the Haberdashery Project. So it's Wayne at the Haberdashery Project. He has put out a video very recently on how to do a little mini pillbox. So I suggest you go and check it out for the full showing how to do it. Um, I'm gonna cover mine slightly different. So um, I'm not, I'm gonna show you how I cover it, but the actual how to make this crown, I would suggest you go and check his video. It is linked up in the card now, in the top corner, in here somewhere. And it's also in the description box below. So make sure you subscribe to him as well because he has some beautiful hats that he's made. Basically, bias um, buckram, uh, wire the top and the bottom, and you've got the, the tip and you put it all together. That's pretty much what it is. But if you want to see it done properly, then definitely um, go and check out his video. Well, I hope you went across to the other channel I linked in the description below and in the card, because that will tell you exactly how far I've got. So I have a base, a crown even, uh, which is wired and it has fabric on the top. So I'm doing mine slightly different to how he did his. For the simple reason, I only had half a meter of fabric, so I had to cut two strips and join them together, which I still haven't done, so I need to sew this together. Just to make one long piece of bias fabric. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to wrap the sides of the crown in the fabric and I'm not going to do it the way he did it because I can't. <laughs> and also um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do mine. So let's cover this sideband with some fabric. 
and then we've got the crown done. Okay, so as you can see here, I have um, my fabric. So I've laid, I've cut it on the bias, but it obviously it wasn't long enough. So I've cut two lengths, which will wrap around, join them together so you can actually see um, the sort of like the pattern still looks relatively the same. Um, and all I'm going to do is just going to run a like a, a st like a stitch along here so when I open it up it's nice and flat and then I'm going to wrap it around the crown along the sides and sew it into place. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to I'm going to join these together, um, just pulling it on the inside, just so then they're nice uh, and pulled together just there, um, and it's looking good. I'm liking this fabric choice. What I'll end up doing is I'll end up turning this under in on its like so it sits really nice and flush with that top like that so I'm gonna do that now um, and you can watch me if you want to skip to the next section feel free it's on the screen now so I will see you when this crown is done So, at the top, at least anyway, obviously we need to deal with the bottom. And you're probably wondering, what the hell is this? Well, the long side of the buckram was bowing slightly. So what I've done, don't kill me because, yes, I know it's an uncovered uh, block. But I've put it back on the block and I've steamed it and I've pulled it in slightly to fit the shape of the block. So it's got like this dip now around the edge in fact if i take this off it might make sense so now it's got like a dip around the top you can there you can see that like here um which i think is even <laughs> it is um so yes i know the uh it's nice and dry now so um, so now what I need to do is when I take it off the block, uh, so now what I need to do is I need to sew this edge under, and I'm probably just going to use a normal in and out stitch, I don't know what that's called, like a straight stitch, um, and hide in sort of like the stitches as I go. Um, and then the crown's done. I think she's looking cute though. I love this fabric. In fact, it's a bit dark. But I really love this fabric. Um, and it's looking, it's looking kind of cute. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just tidy this edge up, sew it down, and then we're gonna work on the crown. So the crown is all done. Ta -da! Um, I have shortened it by about, uh, I think about an inch. So this is all ready. Um, so that is that. I have the crown. So I have already gone ahead and measured uh, three inches from the head fitting. Keep your this, because it will come in handy at some point. Um, Christine will attest to that as she keeps telling us which is very good advice um, so as you can probably also see I have also gone ahead and added a head fitting which is the same head fitting as the crown so um, I've already gone that will just help me add 
it into the crown a lot easier. So now I need to add some brim wire to the edge and then we're going to cover it with either ribbon or I was thinking I may use the fabric because as you can see, it's a slightly different blue. Let me just get the right side. It's, it's a different navy. So I was thinking maybe cover it in bias of this. Um, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire the edge now and then I'll decide what I'm going to do once I've wired it. So as you can see, I have decided I want to use the same fabric on the side. So what I have done is I've cut myself a, I think this is a two inch strip, yep, of fabric. And <clears throat> I've got a steam, I've steamed it in half, so it's on the bias. And I've just basically just steamed it with a crease to help me curve it round the brim. It's a raw edge because I'm uh, I'm, keep, I'm doing a, like a raw edge trim on the side. So, uh, like I said earlier, just to make sure it's even, we get in the centre and I'm putting it at the centre front. So then the joins will be roughly the same side, same place each side. Right, so I'm just going to pin it in a couple of places. So I'm going to pin it at the front. Right, so I actually had way more than enough fabric to um, do this. So that was good. So that is the centre back. So I'm just going to trim there. Just trim that excess off there. I'm going to tidy the back up later. So um, now I'm going to go around and sew this down. Um, probably along the top edge here, because then that will um, hold it together. So like, I don't really, I've stopped showing the boring stuff on camera because According to my analytics, you guys don't like to see it. So, let me sew this down and then we need to attach the crown. Right, all sewn together. So I have the brim, which I have gone ahead and added all the, the fabric to the edge to kind of binds the edge. And I have a crown. So, what I'm going to be doing is putting these together um, and then adding a lining so that's what I need to do now it's starting to come together finally uh, so let's crack on and add the brim um, as you can probably see I've mentioned I have bound, bound the edge with some buckram just to kind of stabilize that that inner edge and it'll just make it easier to insert so let's crack on and get this hat finished Right, so the final thing is the trimming. Now, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and I have added a, a bit of strip of fabric around, which actually matches the lining. So um, initially I was just going to do the one strip, but I've actually decided it was looking a little too dark and it just needed something just to elevate it and bring out a bit of lightness so and also it helped it meant I could test to make sure this bit works and it does so that's why we've also got two 
strips of fabric around the outside. So this is cotton bias as well. Uh, it's just seamed here. Uh, and I am going to be hiding part of that seam with this quill as well. So all thought process, all there. So this is a, this strip here is not on the bias. So this is a straight strip. And the reason why is because I wanted that frayed effect, which you can only really get on the straightness. This has two sides. So obviously I want to match the side so the fabric's the same. And I'm just going to just pin one edge and then I'm just going to gently position it like so. I'm just going to pin that, hold that into place. And I just want the, the um, at the bottom, I just want the strands just hitting the bottom of the crown. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it um, like an over cut over stitch just to join those two ends catching into the green fabric which has already been secured to the crown here she is so um, a couple of things I've done differently to what I've last recorded because I actually recorded all most of this video could have maybe four weeks ago and I'm only just getting through round to my intro and my outro which is bad I know um so I did actually not well I did add a quill to the to the top but I decided to take that off because I didn't like it I um added a bow to the side which you know I thought it was quite nice. And I did line it as well, uh, which I was going to show how to line in this video, but I'm going to be coming out with a video next week on testing different linings because I have my preferred way of lining hats. So I thought I would do like a test on how to, you know, like trying different ways to line hats. So that's why that's not in here. So yeah, like this is, it's been interesting like I've learned I've learned things from making this hat I've learned you know fabric covering a, a tip and a sideband uh, thank you to um, Wayne for your tutorial on how to do a pillbox which I used for this crown a fabric covered pillbox which I use for this crown um, and yeah and I really like this fabric now I did make a little mistake with the crown it is i don't know if you can see it is a little on the it dents in which i did show in this video but i kind of like it is it suitable for a queen though hmm i think the crown's a little too tall for the brim if i'm honest with you but i do still like it uh yeah i think i think i had i had like a, a different crown block i think it maybe would have worked a little bit better but it's, it still looks good regardless. I, I really, really do like this one. Thank you very much to my Patreon, Reggie. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Um, it does mean the world when I have people or the person who um, supports this channel. So thank you so much. And if you've learned something from this channel and you want to donate, say, not a lot, then make sure you head over to my Patreon down below. There's a link there. It will take you to my Patreon account and you, there's different tiers starting from £1 per month. So, yeah, thank you so much. I, uh, yeah, would I be doing many more of these? Probably not. Um, it's not my thing at all, is a fabric-covered crown and thing. But I have enjoyed making it and I think it's just another skill under my belt that I can pull out should somebody want something which is in a similar vein to this. Well thank you very much for watching. I 
don't know what's I never know what's next week because I've got so many things on the go that I don't quite know which order things are coming in but I will be back next week with another video now bear in mind in December I am not uploading at all in December I'm taking a little you know a little annual break um or every six month break just taking a month off and just not con not really concentrating on having to upload every week i uh, and a couple of things i kind of want to do while i'm not having to focus too much on this channel but i will be back in january anyway but this might go out way before then so yeah if this goes out in october ignore what i've just said well, thank you very much for watching. My name has been John. You have been great. I will love you all and see you next week. Bye.